Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own Christmas cards with Chocotour's Christmas Tree Fern Size A Transfer. So stay tuned. Hello everyone, hopefully you're doing pretty well today. My name is Deborah and welcome to my channel, Crafty Chalk and Creations. Today I'm going to show you how you can make your Christmas cards with this transfer called Christmas Tree Fern. This is a size A transfer. I believe this one is a four and a half by a, uh, six and a half. Yeah, four and a half by six and a half size transfer. So I'm going to get started here. Now um, I have an envelope here that I got from Michael's, their 50 pack, and I got some cardstock. I've already cut this down uh, size to fit. I will have a link posted down below in the description box where I show you how I go ahead and I cut down uh, the cardstock to the size card to fit these envelopes. So I'm going to be using. You're going to need some surface wax. You, if you're going to be making cards, you need to wax your cardstock. And if you want to decorate your envelope, you're also going to need to wax that, which I will show you how to do. Now, I, um, I'm going to be using Shimmer Olive today. And at first, I was going to use Shimmer Harvest. But then I got stirring up the gold, so I think I'm going to use Shimmer or uh, yeah, Shimmer Gold instead of the Shimmer Harvest. I will have an editable shopping cart link posted down below, so that way um, you can choose your own colors. If you want to do it, you know, all in metal green, or if you want to do a blue fern, whatever color you would like, you are welcome to do that. First thing I need to do is fuzz my transfer. Now I've already, you can see these little lines right here. You can cut this apart if you'd like to. I just took my scissors and I scored it so that way I can keep this all on the same same uh, backer sheet, which is what your transfer comes on. And with these being so small, I would try my best to you know, keep them together as, as much as possible. Um, those are options if you want to use those. You don't have to, you know, if you want to make some like Little ornaments or little stars around your fern, you can do that. I'm going to be using these to decorate the uh, the flap of my envelope. Didn't quite get this scored all the way through. There we go. Now these transfers are reusable. They are sticky on the back. That's why I need to fuzz. And even though I've already waxed my card, I pre-waxed it. You can see there's a little bit of sheen, and I buffed it. This is that way my transfer does not stick so well to my cardstock because if you do not wax your cardstock or your paper, it will stick. It will pull, pull up the paper and you'll, you'll ruin your transfer. Ask me how I know. I've been there, done that. So you just want to make sure that you fuzz this to remove some, uh, not necessarily remove, but to take down some of that stickiness so that way it doesn't stick too, too much to your your card stock or your card whatever you are using for your card now you could use ink also I'm going to do a separate video with this using ink but I'm going to use the paste for right now but anyhow uh, Chocotour states you can use these anywhere from 8 to 12 times I'm sure you know if you take care of it you can get more than that out of it these are pretty sticky so I'm going to probably fuzz this at least eight times or more. I lost count, but it feels fairly well. We'll find out. I'm going to set this aside because I'm going to need to fuzz my little stars there. All right. Like I said, I have already pre-waxed this to save a little bit of time, but I will do a little bit of waxing on the flap there just to show you how I do this. Now I'm going to be making a blank card. You, If you would like to put some words inside, they do have another transfer called Holiday Words. That way, if, These are all little separate words, so you want to combine your own little sayings, you can, like peace and joy. They got the little and symbol there. If you want to put something on the inside, you can do that. Now, you, if you want your fern to go whichever direction you want, if you want to have it go straight, you can do that. You are in control how you want your card to look. So um, I'm just going to place this on here. I'm going to try to center it a little bit here, but you can have it skewed. And if you don't want to use this as a Christmas card and you just want you want to use the fern for a different project, you can do that. Just don't um, paste your star up there. 
I think this would look really nice in all in gold. I got a little fuzzy back here. Or silver, whatever colors you would like to, like I said earlier, make your fern. All I'm doing now is I'm smoothing this over with my finger. So that way I have good contact with my my surface there. And I'm also going to be using a couple tools. I've got my mini squeegee. I'm going to use that for the fern. And I think I'm going to use the detail tool. I wasn't sure if I wanted to use the multi-tool, you know, to go over my little stars. But I think I'm going to use the detail tool because I have a, small, a couple smaller ones. So I will, like I said, I will have these posted down below um, a shopping cart link. It is editable, so if you want to add, subtract, change things around in there, you can do that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my pesto. I've got a little extra plate here I just put my squeegee on. And this hat, this is shimmer, not shimmer, this is not pesto, it's shimmer olive. Isn't that gorgeous? I had pesto on the brain. And then I'm just going to apply this to my transfer. And just trying to make sure I've got good even coverage here. One thing I like about the new manufacturer, um, I notice not as much paste adheres the, to the transfer surface. I've got paste on my finger. Um, which I love because then, you know, it extends your, your paste. You're not wasting as much paste, you know, cleaning it off. Look at that. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And I'm just going to get my cap back on. Now I'm going to do the shimmer gold. And that's the shimmer gold. This is what the shimmer harvest looks like in case you would like to get that instead. It's more of a yellow. And that's kind of more of like a, um, to me, like a brassy gold. And that's more of like a warmer yellow gold. So I'm going to go with this. I'm going to use my detail tool here. It does not take much. And I'm just going to do my little star up here. Totally optional. If you don't want to use this as a Christmas card, that's totally optional. And now I'm going to peel and reveal the fun part. And there is your fern Christmas tree. Alright, I'm going to spray that down so I can get it to the sink and clean it. <clears throat> now you can set this aside to dry or you can use a hair dryer or heating tool to dry it if you like to. I'm going to set it aside for right now and I'm going to get this paste off my finger if possible. And I'm going to work on the flap of my envelope. Now this is totally optional. You don't have to do that. Now these envelopes at Pack of 50, they do not, these do not have the, the adhesive on it. So you'll need to use, if you get these, you're going to need to use a sticker or maybe a wax seal if you like to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my, surf, uh, my wax, surface wax here, and I've got a towel. I'm just going to do a little bit here on the flap. And all you need to do is just apply your wax. And then once you have that in the area you want, you just go with a different section of your towel or get another towel and you just buff it. Now you will have a slight sheen to it, that's fine, because if you go ahead and use a hair dryer heating tool, it will melt the wax into the paper, so it won't be as shiny. And hopefully you can see that. Alright, now I'm going to take my little, little stars here, got a piece of wax there. And I'm just going to fuzz these a little bit. I'm not going to need too much fuzz. Now, you don't have to use all these. You can just use a couple of them if you want. Oops. All right. I'm going to need my scissors. These little itty-bitty bits here. All right, 
left. I think I'm going to place that one there. And I'm just pressing my finger on there just to make sure it's adhered to my, my surface. My little card there. And you know what? I think I'm going to wait on that one. All right. Now I'm going to do these in the gold, the shimmer gold. Now if you wanted to, you could add some of these around your, your tree or you want to add some to the ornaments. I might do that. I might. I haven't decided. I'm just going to use my detail tool. I, I love this one. I also love the multi tool because it's good for these, these little, that's why it's called a detail tool. If you need little details or just small little areas. Comes in real handy. Okay. Just going to set that there. And I think I'm going to put this one here. Um, hmm. You know what? I don't think I'm going to use that one. I think I'm just going to use. Those two. Up. Cute as that. If you want to add a couple more on there, you could. You know what? I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to place this one over here, and do one right there, get tissue and just kind of press that down so I don't get paste all over my finger, and I think we'll do, that's one, two, three, four, we'll do another one over here. Now, like I said, this is totally optional, but I think it just adds a nice little detail to your card. I mean, you're hand-making this, and it's going to give you some professional results. Good and dry. This is a heat tool. Now you see how it's not as shiny because I've um, melted some of that wax. I mean, it's a very, very thin coating. Let me make sure that this is dry. Yeah, that's dry. I'm gonna make sure my card's dry here. Shimmer, isn't that gorgeous? Huh. I'm kind of debating if I want to add a few more little stars here, like little ornaments or something. What do you think? You know what? I think I'm going to leave it as is. But if you wanted to add some of these, like little embellishments, and just add a few little stars around, you could. There you go. It is that easy for you to make your own Christmas cards. Now you need to do, you can do your own sayings. You write it in there if you want to. Pop it in your envelope and you're ready to go. I hope you enjoyed this video and it shows you how you can make your own cards just in time for Christmas. Isn't it? I just do. I just love that transfer. Alright. Thank you so much for watching and you have a wonderful day.